High water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Um, we're going to take a look at and see uh, what are the love predictions for you all for the next three to six months. These are going to be general messages, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list the email address below the video here. Um, so we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what are the next, um, what are love predictions here. For the next three to six months from the time of this reading. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups here, the Magician, the Ace of Cups. The sun, queen of pentacles, and the moon card here. So a lot of illumination with the sun, and then once again with the moon tarot, um, tarot card here. A lot of illumination here. I feel like um, there's going to be a lot more making sense of your um, love life here. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that I feel like... Are going to be illuminated to you here so for those of you that are in a situation that feels a little bit stagnated in a romantic situation and you're not sure how to proceed um, or you're not sure whether or not it's going to progress here I'm seeing that um, the moon the moon and the Sun's light is going to shine shine a lightness onto your darkness here okay um, well let's begin with the ten of cups your water energy um, your energy here guys um, there are things here that I feel like within the next three to six months things are finally lining up for you I, I feel like things are finally going to start falling into place and you will start seeing evidence of this uh, show up in your life over the next few months it'll start showing up and I feel like for some of you it's like for those of you that have been wanting a sign okay how to progress forward or what you should do um, you know or where to go from here you, um, the universe here is trying to communicate with you all the time and is trying to give you signs here. Um, you'll start seeing signs, as I've mentioned. You'll start seeing evidence of, um, evidence of. It feels like validation. It feels like confirmation, or it feels like the universe here wanting to point you in the direction in which you, um, you know, you you uh, need to. You are advised to proceed in. The Ten of Cups is also for those of you that have been. Um, if you've been going through a storm, okay, if you've been, or if you're going, if you're entering into a storm, if you're going through a storm, or if you're coming out of a storm here, um, there is a rainbow here that's destined, okay, so there is a light at the end of the tunnel. For those of you that have been going through an emotional, uh, sorry, uh, an emotional tumultuous situation, okay, a breakup, um, heartache, um, or just any um, emotionally overwhelming romantic situation here, um, any inner storm here that you've been um, experiencing, any emotional experience here which has which has sort of proven very weighty here, you're going to get the rainbow. You're going to get your rainbow here. So, And the rainbow only ever shows up after a storm here. So for a lot of you, um, I'm seeing that the pain that you're currently experiencing, this emotional experience that you're currently going through, what's happening is it's strengthening you, okay? It's not weakening you, it's making you stronger. It feels uncomfortable here. Um, it feels uncomfortable for some of you, okay? Or it might feel painful or it might feel like, you know, um, really overwhelming here. But I am seeing that this is strengthening you and I am seeing that this you're going to come out on the other end of it. You and your romantic connection here, your romantic energy here, are going to be brought closer together. You're going to be drawn a lot more closer. You're going to be strengthened and united because of this, okay? Because your relationship here, your connection with the person is going to, with, with this person here, is withstanding the test of times here. For some of you, the Ten of Cups indicates um, there is a new blissful... Um, emotional connection here on the horizon for you someone here is you're manifesting the ideal partner you're manifesting the ideal relationship for those of you that are single this is great um you know this is a positive messenger the ten of cups so you're going to find yourself 
within the next three to six months, I feel like you'll, you'll find yourself in a very stable, very secure, very loving, very blissful relationship. For some of you as well, I'm seeing news of children. So some of you could fall pregnant. Um, if not, it's a connecting energy around you then. Um, some of you, I feel like you're going to enter into a relationship in which you will see, the two of you will start seeing, even from early days, you will start seeing long-term visions, okay? You will start seeing a future for yourself and for this person here. You're manifesting a lot of things. You're in a very strong manifesting um, powerful mode, so take advantage of it. Um, what's your thoughts? They become things. I feel like it's... It, it feels very powerful because it, to me it feels like you're at the right place at the right time, okay? So for those of you that... Um, that are in a romantic relationship here, okay, and for those of you that are going through some an emotional, um, like a tumultuous situation, we did mention that this, you know, you're you're coming out of it, and it's not weakening you; it's strengthening you. For those of you that are single here, I'm seeing that you are, you know, um, be open and receptive because you are inviting um, a you are inviting the ideal partner, the ideal relationship here. You're in alignment. You're in alignment with your inner self here. You're, you're, I feel like you're in alignment with the universe as well. So the universe here is responding to your wishes, to your desires, to your needs here. Okay. Um, so be open here to receive your blessings. With the magician, I, I also feel like within the next three to six months, I'm seeing that there is someone here who comes back into your life. So someone here who's fallen off the radar. It feels like this is someone who ghosted you. So someone who sort of disappeared here. Well, someone whom you've ended things very quickly, very abruptly with. Now, this person comes back into your life. Be careful that they sort of don't try and weasel back into their life purely because the magician, whilst overall he's quite a positive energy and quite a positive influence on the tarot spread here, at the end of the day, he's still a, a skilled manipulator, right? It's what he does for, for a living. He's in the art of manipulation, the art of deception here. So someone tries to come back into your life and it's like they try and weasel their way back in. So if they ghosted you, it's they don't really sort of hold themselves accountable and if you don't hold them them accountable I see that this person is likely to do it again okay so they need to be pulled up um, or it's very likely that someone here this person feels like a uh, they feel flaky they feel like a fluctuating presence so they come in they come out they're very inconsistent here watch watch that you don't get caught up in any um, web web of lies watch that someone here is not emotionally manipulating you okay watch that um, Someone here, I feel like, is not being uh, deceptive because once again, the magician's energy feels a little, um, it feels a little like there's a, some mental trickery, mental deception happening. So, someone here, I feel like, is not being entirely honest to you. I'm connecting energy here, and it's very likely this is an inconsistent energy, and this is someone who comes in and out of your life, a fluctuating presence. They're not telling you the truth, and I feel like. I feel like this person has gotten away with it. They've gotten away with the flaky behavior. Sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't. But for the most part, I feel like overall, you know, they get away with it. Um, and it's like, and it's, I'm seeing that this person is prone to pattern, um, to behavioral patterns. So someone here, I feel like is trying to um, catch you. Okay, catch you in their web of lies here. So be careful. Um, watch for... Not what they say, but watch for what this person does, whoever this is um, for you. The other message, and I, I know I always say this, but whenever the magician you know, pops up in a, um, in a tarot spread, the answer is always a resounding yes. So for those of you that had a question in mind, um, it's a yes with the magician's appearance. But I'm also seeing like this manifestation. There's a lot of things that are going to... There's a lot of things that I feel like that are going to be revealed to you. And I feel like the universe wants to put you onto the right path, wants to connect you with the right people, wants to place you in the right relationships. And I feel like it's all because things are here. You're in alignment here. You're in a very great vibrational mode. Um, you're very responsive. You're very receptive here. I'm seeing a lot of things coming your way, a lot of things manifesting here for you. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, I'm seeing a very strong emotional experience for you here as well. This could be um, tied into healing. So you could be healing a past hurt, an emotional trauma, any hurt, um, any resentment here. Some of you, for those of you that have gone through, that, that are going, like if you're seeking any professional advice or um, 
like if you're seeing a counselor, couples therapy, a, a ther like a therapist, a psychologist, um, there's a strong breakthrough there. I feel like you're there's a like there's a successful breakthrough. So something you're breaking down emotional blockage. You're breaking down or you're breaking through emotional blockages. Yeah, okay. Um, there's also an emotional experience. I feel like I'm not gonna say you're overreacting. You could be, but. Or maybe this person here is overreacting. But there is either a communication or a message that comes in or an experience here you might have. It feels very powerful here. I feel like it's going to drive, it's going to move you to tears. Maybe this person comes back here and this is someone whom I feel like you really wanted to, uh, you know, you wanted to manifest this person back into your life. Maybe it's this ideal partner or this ideal relationship that you wanted to manifest and you finally get it and you just can't believe it because it feels too good to be true. Now, for some of you, it does feel like a more of a positive energy, but for others of you, it can be that, you know, this is someone who emotionally disappoints you because it can also be like an um, overwhelming emotional kind of energy. The Sun card here, I feel like um, this here is a, uh, is a strong indication that you're in a great vibrational frequency, you're in a great vibrational mode, you're attracting the certain, like you're attracting the right people in the right circumstances into your life. You're very open here. This is also a message to you know, do not block your blessings. There's a lot of growth here. So any situation in which you'll find yourself involved with over the next three to six months, um, and even if it's an uncomfortable situation, the reason why it's happening to you um, is because it's trying to help you evolve or it's trying to help you grow. It's trying to help you transition here. So that's very powerful, okay? The other message that I get for you here, Water Signs, is that stop trying to shrink yourself to fit into situations or to fit into relationships with people who you have outgrew. Okay, try and stop trying to shrink yourself um, to fit into these type of situations because there is someone here who you outgrew, a situation you outgrew, but you keep trying to shrink yourself to fit them. There's a reason why it's not working anymore because that person isn't going where you're going or you're so much bigger than, um, there's some something so much more bigger, so, so much more grandiose coming in store for you. Queen of Pentacles here, I'm seeing um, you need to, I'm seeing a lot more self-love or self-care happening here, okay? And I'm seeing a lot of you are going to finally, because you're very, you can be very selfless here, guys, but I feel like a lot of you are finally starting to prioritize yourself. I'm also getting, there is a lot of children here, I mean, the rabbit here in the corner, if you can see that little thing, um, that little fella, it is fertility here, so some of you, I do feel like you're welcoming news of fertility, okay, um, or there is going to be talks about children, having children, children are going to pay, play a prominent role in your life, you could be meeting someone who already has children or who really, really wants children, um, for others of you, if it's not you here, it's a very close connecting energy, like a sibling or a best friend here, now with the moon card here, I am seeing, um, be careful because you do have the magician and the moon card there is going to be there's some sort of situation or someone's energy around you who feels like this person is emotionally manipulating you or there is deception around this person so there could be weaving um a web of lies as i've mentioned earlier make sure you don't get caught up in it or be careful because everything is not as it seems at the start of the spread i said there's a lot of things that are going to be illuminated to you so certain people around you i feel like are telling you fabrications of the truth um, they're telling you versions of the truth and the truth doesn't have versions. So you'll start, um, their lies will be exposed. Okay. You, I feel like you're going to discover information about certain people here. It could be about an ex or it could be about connecting, um, uh, connecting energy here, or it might pleasantly surprise you because the situation you thought maybe someone who did ghost you in the past, you might've written them off, but they come back and maybe they, um, you call them out. Okay, and what they tell you might surprise you. So the moon card tells me that there are certain situations, um, they are not what they appear to be, or certain people are not what they appear to be here as well. I'm also seeing that there is, I've mentioned there's some sort of light that's being shown onto the dark, onto a darkness here. So a lot of you guys, there is a light at the, um, at the end of the tunnel. Some of you, you're coming out of a difficult period, especially, you know, over the next few months here. For others of you, I feel like things you're getting so much more clarity, both mental, emotional. Things are starting to make so much more sense. Like you'll start to, I'm seeing like realization dawning on you. 
and you're making more sense of okay this is why it happened okay this is why i met this person okay this is why i didn't work out with this person so i could meet this person instead okay this is why this person broke my heart so i could you know learn this lesson there's just so many more things that start making sense to you and this is all part of that growing and evolving okay so don't block your blessings okay and stop trying to shrink yourself to try and fit into a relationship in which honestly you've just clearly add grew okay guys and these are your predictions thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing commenting um i'll be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now